along the far frontier. The last we hail who rides the border trail along the far frontier. When the history of the West is written, to the world it will be clear. There's glory in the story of the border patrol along the far frontier. They're taking them. They buy them here in Mexico and take them across the border. Those fellas are sure in a hurry to get somewhere. Somebody must want that load of oil awful bad. Round them up, fellas, and get them back into the road. Better watch yourself. That patrol shack's just around the bend. Have your papers. Here they are. You'll find everything's in order. Okay, where are you headed? Sharperville? Yeah, that's right. You know what the boss said about killing patrolmen? Yeah, but what about those barrels? Well, maybe we can bluff our way through. I thought you said you were heading for Sharperville. You heard me right. That's what I said. Well, for your information, you're heading for Alamo. Maybe I've changed my mind. Well, maybe I have, too. I want to inspect your cargo again. Hey, wait a minute. You can't do that. You checked us through once. Who do you think you are? out for a week. Yeah. Let's get out of here before somebody sees us. Move that horse. Sure wasn't at the Mexican patrol office when we passed it down the road. You're right. And if I know Tom, he'd never leave his post unless it was something important. I don't understand it. Me either. We've got to get those cattle to water. I'll leave her clearance papers here and write Tom a note. 
Here. Okay, Johnny, bring them on. You know, Roy, Tom's old man had better not hear about us bringing these cattle through without Tom checking them. You know what a stickler the old guy is for discipline. You're right. And if he does hear about it, Tom will be getting one of those lectures he used to give us when we were kids. nosy border patrol cop to give us quite a chase. What'd you do with him? Well, he wasn't dead, so we dumped him off the side of the road. Oh, um, we lost one of the drums. Lost it? That's bad. Well, we're back in the USA. Hey, you the boss? Yeah, that's me. Missing. Where is he? Boys tell me the drum he was in fell off the truck. Listen, you. You promised to get us all through safe. Stop squatting. You knew this was going to be a rough deal when you get into it. Listen, cowboy, take it easy. We'll go back and pick him up. Where are we now? A couple of miles inside the border. You sure nobody knows how we got back into the country? Just us. The driver tells me he had a little tough luck. Border Patrol officer got on his tail and he had to slug him. So what? So it makes it more risky for us. It also makes it more expensive for you, about $5,000 worth. Today's payday. Listen, you, this smells like a shakedown to me. And when our friends hear about it... You better ante up, pal. You're a long ways from a railroad station. If you tried to walk, you'd be picked up in less than an hour. Okay. Five grand, you say, huh? That's right. Come on, let's have a little conference. Okay, you got us cold. We're ready to pay off. That's better. Everybody back on the truck. Give me a hand, boys. See if those lips are all tight. We won't quibble over a few hundred. Thanks. Why, you get in your barrel. Okay, okay. Rocco. That missing passenger is going to change our plans a little, so I'll take over from here on in. You go with me. You're asking for more trouble than you can handle. Wait till our friends hear about this. You're scaring me to death. Hey, Bart, what about that threat of making things tough for us? <laughs> they got a surprise coming. A nice bumpy ride they hadn't figured on. Hey, if this is the end of the line, let me out before I smother. Don't worry, you won't smother. Full of 
Okay. Here you are, miss. Thank you. How'd it go? Perfect. Got your message okay. Brought your bird back. Well, this may seem a lot of trouble to you, boss, but in our particular form of endeavor, why, we can't be too careful. Telephone communications can always be turned. Carry a pigeon. Well, that's different. I assume you took care of our clients? Slick as silk. They had a little run-in with the Border Patrol officer before I took care of our friends. Well, that's bad. Didn't kill him, did they? No, of course not. Uh, but I'll bet he don't feel so good right now. Know who it was? Tom Sharper. Not young Tom Sharper. Yeah. I'm sorry it wasn't his father. Boy said he got in the back end of the truck and started fooling around with the drums. If that's the case, we're out of business for a while. The Border Patrol will check in every oil drum in the country. You're right. We'd better take it easy. That's all we can do. Come on, you've got to get out of here. Fresh can you be? Miss? Gee, I'm sorry, Miss. I... I suppose you got that mud on your gloves from making mud pies. Well, honest, it wasn't me. It was. If I ever get the chance to, I'll. I'll. Take it easy. Here. Oh, you, you. And that goes for your horse, too. Wait a minute, miss. Your paper. Son, that just shows you what circumstantial evidence will do. Well, she certainly convicted me in a hurry. Hi, Mr. Newcomb. Glad to see you, Roy. Too bad about Tom. Is that why you're here? Wouldn't be surprised. This is going to be pretty tough on Tom's dad. I hear he hasn't been feeling well lately. Well, he's out now. You can find out for yourself. Roy, I'm sure glad to see you. Glad to see you, too, Al. Sorry to hear about Tom. Yeah, it's a terrible shock, Roy. Can't even find a trace of him. When you crossed the border in the morning after those cattle, did he say anything to you that might give us a clue? No, not that I remember. Uh, try and recollect. It's important. You were the last one across before he was reported missing. Well, there was a truckload of oil drums that crossed the border just ahead of us. Didn't they report it? No. And you know I can't help but think there was something crooked. No son of mine would desert his post. Pretty evident that he did, Alf. He left the station and shirked his duty and just skedaddled. Newcomb, 32 years ago when I was United States Marshal, I ran you in. If you say that about my boy, I'll do it again. How can you? What I said about Tom is the truth and you know it. Don't say that again. My boy is innocent. Tell him, Roy. You can't tell me because you don't know. Your boy deliberately deserted his post. Break it up, Newcomb. Why don't you mind your own business? Oh, 
Come on. Hey. How are you? All right, Roy? Sure, Ralph. Let me give you a hand. You're going to regret this, Alf Sharper. I'll get even with you if it takes the rest of my life. Come on. <laughs> Don't you think you're a little old for this kind of stuff? Confidentially, yes. But don't tell Newcomb. <laughs> Are you stopping at Judge Bullfinch's? That's right. Well, I'll be down to see you as soon as things quiet up a bit. Good. Get out. Found time yet? I don't think so. Good. Get your men and find them before they do. Boss, I don't think that's a Get them and find them, I said. I'm gonna make Elf Shop a regret he ever had a son. Judge, before you try this case, I want to talk to you. Yes? He did? Well, I never heard of such a thing. Stand back and I'll let him have it. The court finds you guilty of mayhem, assault and battery, and insurrection, and sentences you to 10 years, maybe 11. But, well, Judge, wait a minute. Well, you're mad at him, aren't you? Well, yes, I'm mad at him, but not that mad. There wasn't that much mud. Well, you've had a change of heart. Well, as long as you don't want to send him to jail, you might as well meet him. Susan Hathaway, this is Roy Rogers. Oh, Roy Rogers? Tom's friend? That's right. I'm really awfully sorry this happened. <laughs> so was Trigger. He told me to apologize for him. <laughs> of course. <laughs> uh, Roy, you want to stay and have a uh, little evidence for dinner with us? They look mighty good, Cookie. <laughs> Try them, Chris. Will you, Sue? All right, Judge. <laughs> Headline in that paper is the reason I sent you the subpoena, Roy. I wanted to have a talk with you. If Tom is in a jam, why, I'll probably have to sentence him. Sit down, will you? Thanks, Cookie. What kind of a jam? Well, you know about him turning up missing and everything. And, well, the only thing they found was that note that you left for him at the patrol shack. Well, I guess Tom didn't come back if the note was still there. Well, well Al's taking it pretty hard. And you know, he practically owns the whole town and how proud he was of Tom. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was just recently reminded of that. What happened at the border, Roy? Well, all I know, Cook, is we saw Tom when we crossed the border early in the morning. Uh -huh. He said he'd have something to eat for us when we came back with the cattle. But when we got back, he was gone. So we left our clearance papers and a note for him. Beats me. Have they organized a search yet? Well, they're working on that now, and I'm sure glad you're here in time for it. Up. We gotta keep going. They've probably got a posse out looking for young Sharper. To you. I've got to take young Sharper into town. What's the matter with him? Oh, I don't know. I found him on my ranch this morning with a bad bruise on his head. The poor fellow don't seem to know who he is or what he's doing. How do you feel, son? I don't know. I don't think it's from a fall. Looks to me like he's been slugged. Get down off that wagon and start walking. What are you talking about? This is my wagon and I'm taking the boy to town. Can't you see he's hurt? You heard me. Get off. <laughs> Now you fellas are sure asking for trouble. That's our problem. Just keep calm and get on back to your ranch. You bet I will. Give me a hand. 
Come on, boy. There you go, sonny boy. We'll take good care of you. Good, Al. by the name of Anderson, shot in the back. That's his team. Either of you recognize this? I certainly do. That's the gun I used when I was a United States Marshal. I gave it to Tom and he joined the Border Patrol. It's been fired, recently. Found it right in here. Do you suppose Tom had anything to do of with that? Of course he didn't. I am what Tom want to shoot Anderson. Well, take it easy, Alf. We know Tom wouldn't do a thing like that. Well, I guess we'd better go pick up the body. Tom. It's the shock cookie. Yeah, let's get him home. Newcomb wanted us here at 2 o'clock sharp. I wonder what he's got to tell us. There's only one way to find out, Cookie. Ask him. Hey, hey, snap out of it. We're going in the bank for a minute. You wait outside. We won't be long. When we come out, we'll split up. We'll all meet at the rim rock. Got it? Right. Well, you're right on time. Look. You get to your feet. Tom. Tom. I don't know. Oh. 
Tom, what are you doing in a stick-up? Have you lost your mind? I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, if that's the way you feel about it, we better go see the sheriff. I can't understand what's the matter with that boy. He seems perfect physically except for that bruise on his head, but he still won't talk. Well, maybe we'd better get out down here. That might do some good. Oh, please, Cookie, not yet. If Alf hears about that bank robbery, the shock would kill him. Remember what the doctor said. Sue's right. We can't let Alf know about this. You say he still doesn't remember anything? That's what he says. Every time I ask him something, he just says he can't remember. It could be amnesia. Sheriff, do you mind if I try a little experiment? Not at all, Roy. Anything that might help Tom. Fellas, you know how proud Tom was of being a border patrolman. Come on, I'll need your help. Let's sing a song for all the boys along, along the far frontier, the lads we hail. Who ride the border trail along the far frontier from the blue bonnet prairies of Texas to the mountains California way. Those hard riding sons of the saddle do their duty night or day. Their fame has grown in every place they're known along the far frontier. They stand for right and for their cause they'll fight if trouble should appear. When the history of the West is written to the world it will be clear. There's glory in the story of the Border Patrol along the far frontier. Oh, Tom. Doesn't it mean anything to you? Please. Go away and leave me alone. I'll call the doctor. All right, Sheriff. Sue, you better get back to Alf. And whatever happens, don't let him know about this. Sheriff, if you don't mind, I'd like to go in and have a talk with Tom. Go right ahead, Roy. Thanks. trying to get away with, Tom. I think you're lying. Don't call me a liar. I told you I don't remember. You don't remember. I still think you're lying. Hey! Hey, Roy! Stop that fighting, you fool. I'll lock your both up. Here, break it up, Roy. Are you crazy? Fighting a man in a place like this. Stop that fighting or I'll let you have it. Oh. 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 Don't, don't hit Tom. What would Al say? Roy! I still think you're lying. Roy! Roy! 
Roy Rogers, if I could get in there, I'd bust every bone in your hard head. Just give me the keys. Keep you a thing. Okay, Cookie, go ahead. Oh, Roy, you know I couldn't lay a hand on you. But why did you hit Tom? Well, I feel as bad about it as you do. But his amnesia was caused by a blow on the head. And I thought maybe a shock like this would bring him back to us. Yeah. Get me some water, quick. All right, Roy. But only a small glass this time. All right, Roy. Tom. Cookie. Hello, Tom. Roy, it worked. What happened? What are we doing in here? Hey, Tom, have a drink. You were hit on the head three days ago, and you've had amnesia. Let me rest for a while, Roy. You can rest in a minute. This is mighty important, Tom. What do you remember last? Why, well, I, I stopped a truck loaded with drums of soybean oil. Remember that one of the drums sounded hollow. And then... They must have been smuggling something in them drums. Tom, Tom, do you remember who was driving the truck? Never saw him before, Cookie. Do you remember anything particular about the truck? Yes, there was, Roy. They tried to pull a fast one on me. And when I chased them, one of the drums fell off the truck and rolled off the road. I'm sure they were smuggling something. Do you remember where it went off? Sure. Near the dry lake above Willow Springs. Good. We'll go out and have a look. Where are the boys? They're out front. They said they'd wait for you. Can't I help, Roy? You just stay here and take it easy. We don't want anybody to know what's happening. Anything happened? We're going for a ride. What for? Look for an oil can. What an awful way to die. Well, you can say that again. Take a look at this. Oh, Roy, this man's a criminal. He's wanted by the law. He was being smuggled back into the country. There must have been criminals in those other oil drums. That's why they were trying to get away from Tom. Yeah. You know, Cookie, a lot of people during the war sneaked out of this country because they couldn't stand investigation. Mexican authorities are cooperating in every way they can with our border patrol to arrest them when they try to get back in. But, Roy, who's behind this smuggling? Well, I don't know, but I guess we better have the sheriff pick this up and go have a talk with Alf. glad you're home. Hey, Alf, what are you doing out of bed? Well, Newcomb was just here. I couldn't stop him. He went right in and woke Alf up. Why, that dirty hyena, I'll have him arrested for illegal entry. Never mind, Roy. I'm all right. Newcomb told me the truth, and it's just as well. We've been fighting for 30 years. Today, we shook hands and made up. He told me all about Tom and offered me a good price for my holdings. What? You sell out to Newcomb? I have no choice. After what happened, I couldn't look my friends in the face. It was thoughtful of Newcomb to make me the offer. Sounds more than thoughtful to me. Where would he get that much money? Looks like a well-worked-out plan. You can bet a cow to a donut you're right, too, Roy. 
Why would Newcomb want us in town just in time for that bank robbery? They weren't looking for money. Why, they knew that... Hey, they knew that Tom was suffering from amnesia, and that's why they wanted to frame him. Alf, Newcomb still hates you. He wants to run you out of town and buy you out cheap. Can't you see how the pieces fit together? All we have to do is hang them on Newcomb. I should have known better than to trust that man. Judge Bullfincher, I want a warrant for that man. Take it easy, Alf. We can get a lot more flies with honey than we can vinegar. If you'll all help me, I think we can round up the whole bunch and clear Tom. Sure, sure, Roy. What can we do? I'm not quite sure yet. But if I looked around, I might be able to find out. Alf, tonight we're going to invite Newcomb over here for the best dinner he ever had. What? Afterwards, to kind of quiet his nerves and keep him here for a while. Maybe even a little song. Sitting here thinking, I'm kind of blue. Making my mind up just what to do. Guess I'll be moving and on my way. Hitting the trail back to Monterey. Been missing the scenery, it's nice to see. Missing the folks there, one specially. Her name is Rosita, and so I say, getting the trail back to Monterey. I'll be brushing up on my Spanish, saying, see, you'll take it Las Estrellas in El Cielo Make it on up to Lado So see you around, boys, don't work too hard When I get time to, I'll send a card Guess I'll be moving and on my way Getting the trail back to Monterey Hitting the trail back to Monterey. Nothing like music to make a good dinner, said well. Thanks a lot. If you don't mind coming inside, I'd like to talk a few things over with you. Well, can't it wait till morning? I really ought to get going. It'll only take a minute. Business. Oh, well, in that case, I guess I'd better. Will you excuse us? I'll go with you and get some more coffee. Oh, that's fine, too. Just keep a little background music going, boys. We'll be back as soon as we can. Come on, Cookie. Roy, here's a skeleton key. And you don't have to worry if we get caught, it's legal, because I got a search warrant. <laughs> like pigeons. Oh, they do God, the whole flock of them. Yeah, and they're carrier pigeons, too. Well, I wonder what he wanted them for. Well, it could be to send messages to whoever's working for him. They couldn't take a chance on the telephone. We better take this one along as a souvenir. I want to look around some more. Man, huh? <laughs> Any news today? <laughs> oh. Good evening, gentlemen. Good evening. So long. Why, well, where's Roy? I wanted to say good night to him. Why, uh, he was around here just a minute ago. Have you seen him, Sue? 
Well, no. He might have gone back into the kitchen for another piece of cake or something. And Judge Bullfinch here. Right over here, Mr. Newcomb. Good night. Thanks again, Sue. The dinner was delicious. Good night. Night. Good night. night. Me too. Good night. That was a close one. How'd it go? Wonderful. Fine, fine. Elf, did you swallow the bait about the 15,000? You sure did. Uh, did you find anything? Yeah, show him to me. <laughs> A pigeon? What good is that going to do us? That pigeon belongs to Newcomb. He has plenty more of them. If my guess is right, he'll be sending a message by one of them in the morning. That'll be heading towards the border. We've got to get that message and read it. We'll use this pigeon to carry the message on to where it was intended to go. That way we can catch him red-handed. But why will that pigeon go you to... You can the... bet he's got all those pigeons trained to go to the same place. How are we going to catch a pigeon? Come on, I'll tell you. Huh. Times when I think you let your imagination run away with you. Well, the sun's been up a half an hour. If Newcomb's going to send a message, it ought to be pretty soon. Roy, look. It's too far away, Cookie. It's heading down towards Foy. more. Another shipment of oil waiting at same place over border. Pick up immediately. We got him this time. Look, Cookie, I think it's only fair that Tom be in on this. How about releasing him in my custody? All right. You go on down to the border and I'll send him to you. We'll wait in town until we hear from him. Do it. May I tell Al? He sure can. This is the kind of medicine he needs. In the meantime, I'll see that this message gets to the right place. Good. Come on. Soybean oil. Here's the papers. Okay, get out of the cab. What do you mean? I'm in a hurry. I wouldn't be if I were you. Things are a little different this time. Get out. Trigger. Tom, handcuff them and take them and this stuff to town. I'll follow on trigger. Okay, Roy. Look out, Roy! Curious about those drums, aren't you? Rocco, open a couple of those empties. Pretty smart, weren't you, Roger? When Tom was released from jail, I figured something had gone wrong with our plans. But it's never too late to make them go right. We're taking both of you with us. All right, Roger. Get in there.
get rid of them. Drive to the top of Rim Road. Roy, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, Tom. Listen, I'm going to try to rock this thing off with a truck. I can't move mine. Find him, Trigger. Too much mud. Come on.
out of this cookie. This is personal. Tom. I hate to tell you this, Alf, but Tom was in one of those barrels. And my men shoved it over the cliff. He's dead. Roy, I found something. Come and help me. Help me, Roy. What's the hurry? What's the hurry? He's out of here. Excitement. They forgot which barrel they put me in and threw the wrong one off. Hi, Dad. Hello, Tom. Hi, Tom. Hi, Dad. Sure good to see you. Hi, Hi Dad. Dad. We oh, sure thought you were a goner. Yeah, we're sure As a duly elected judge, I'd find Tom innocent of all the charges against him. But just wait till Mr. Newcomb comes up before me. <laughs> <laughs> 